from the Lane Turo University. Sometimes it's okay to actually lower the price for a repeat uh, Turo guest. Uh, and even if you already gave them a discount, like say maybe they're a repeat guest, or even hey, maybe it's a new guest. It's okay to somebody to do this. Maybe for whatever reason, maybe this is a repeat renter or repeat guest who keeps booking for me and you wanna lower the price and make it a little beneficial for them. Maybe on top, maybe you also gave them a discount or maybe their discount expired because discounts do expire. So you might give them a discount, say maybe three months ago and it might have expired after 90 days, for example. Just for example. So you, what you might wanna go ahead and do is offer them your own way of discount and reduce the price. It's not really a discount, but you could calculate, say you gave them a 5% discount or a 10% discount or 15% discount. You could lower it by that amount or more. And there you go, bottom B, bottom boom. Even if you give them a discount or not, that could really build more customer rapport so it's definitely encouraged, but what I strongly recommend, the number one rule to apply to and implement is always contact Turo first. Make sure you can do this. Let them know, hey, look, I already gave this guy or gal, this Turo guest, a Turo discount for 5%, 10%, 15%, but I want to add them an additional um, daily reduction, as what it calls. It's not really a discount, but a reduction uh, so you bring out the price because this has been a good renter. Or even if it's your first time renter, you just want to do them a favor, or whatever the case is, or you want them to rent more days from me, maybe maybe you bring it down, they'll have it for more days. Whatever the case might be, and whatever it, whatever it is, contact Turo, let them know exactly what you want to do, be honest, be transparent, don't hide anything, and if they give you approval, you're in the green, people. But shouldn't it be a problem, but always check with Turo first. You always want to make sure you're not violating your um, your policy agreement. And again, I create this channel for the world, not just for California, not just for Texas, not just for Hawaii, but for the world. This will be an evergreen channel where you basically plug in, you learn right away, doesn't matter if you're in, I don't care if you're in Puerto Rico, if you're in New York, if you live there, you're just visiting for traveling around the world, if you live there, whatever the case is, I want to make sure this tour is in 56 countries and count uh, and counting so far, which is quite a bit. That's a lot of different states, municipalities, counties, and countries right there just by having being in 56 countries and counting from what I know. So at this point, my, you might be in a different demographic. So make sure the rules are set for you. Maybe I could do it in my county or my state, but maybe you can't do it in yours. So it just doesn't hurt. Contact an email about strongly recommend calling um, and just asking them this question. Hey, I want to give my tour guests a reduction regardless if I already gave them a a discount or not or hey it expired and that way now you can they can give you the green line approval to get this done and you just reduce the price this might be a strategy you can use to implement to build more customer rapport you gotta think outside the box people i love you guys follow me on instagram connor at lane leave me comments questions below share the video share the channel like the channel love the channel subscribe like and share carly now peace